Here we go. This is the Euro 2020 Golden Boot Contender video where I will be discussing the key strikers, the marksmen from all of these teams across the Euros that could nick the Golden Boot, the most famed Golden Boot in international tournaments. And again, Harry Kane won it last time out. Can he win it again? We shall see. I'm going to discuss who I think is the most likely to go and win this type of competition. Now, Burak Yilmaz of Turkey is the first man to consider 18 goals this season, 16 in the league with Lille, who won the French League, and two in the Europa League. He's a fantastic player. He's aging like a fine wine. I believe he's 35, 36, and he's still bagging goals. Very, very impressed with him, particularly in the Euro qualifiers against Holland in terms of the type of finishes that he was showing. Free kicks, getting in the box, shots from distance. Despite being an older player, I think Turkey are clearly showing that they can get the most out of him. And for him to be clinical in those type of competitions at the international stage really shows that he can carry that into the tournament. And Turkey will be hoping for that. I think Turkey, for me, and we'll discuss this in the video tomorrow, they are underdogs. And the way that they're playing, the way that they're getting the most out of the talent that they have, you cannot write them off, and particularly with someone like a Burak Yilmaz. If Turkey can get far into this tournament, I expect him to notch up those goals and get crucial goals as well. And that's why he could pip someone for the golden boot. A player that I've got to talk about is Karim Benzema. I think he's been absolutely brilliant for Real Madrid this season. 32 goals, and I believe that's 23 in the league and nine in the Champions League. Not just in terms of the goals for me, but him as a player. And I was going to do a video on about how important he's he could be to France. And now I think France, to be honest, are the favourites for this tournament. A lot of it's down to him. They do have talents, France. But Benzema, the link-up play that he's shown at Real Madrid, how complete he is as a player, can really tie that in all together, whether it's from the midfield with someone like a Paul Pogba, or whether you've got Kylian Mbappe and Griezmann alongside him. You can get the most out of them. And let's not forget, he's an elite world-class finisher. And again, he's shown that this season. And I think Benzema, for me, it's possibly a little bit underappreciated and it's because he's been in a Real Madrid side with Bale and Ronaldo and maybe Real Madrid fans will tell you different. But this guy, for him not to have been at an international tournament for the length of time that he hasn't, is absolutely criminal. Do I believe that he can win the Golden Boot? Absolutely. I think I know he's he suffered from an injury recently. I do believe that's a knock. If he is fully fit, I expect him to notch up key and important goals. And if he's not contributing towards the golden boot. Trust me when I say this, he's contributing towards France winning the tournament because they are favourites and he is a crucial part of it. Now, let's talk about Italy. Italy are, again, very similar to Turkey, underrated, dark horses coming into it. Now, Roberto Mancini's created a very possession-based style of football. They've been impressive. They're a young side that's improving, but it's possibly one of the older heads that could go and clinch the golden boot. And it's Chiro Immobile with 25 goals this season. Slightly less in the league, actually. He's not been as prolific as he normally is, but he did score 36 last season, which is absolutely unbelievable. Six foot one, not great in the air, but a clinical finisher. And when you look at how Italy could play, in terms of getting on the front foot, keeping the ball, Verratti playing a more advanced role and the vision that he has, Immobile could be able to latch onto a lot of chances. If Insigne plays on the left-hand side or there's a variability in terms of the wingers that they use, I expect them to get him service to his feet and him to find the space. And that's why you can't write him off as a golden boot winner. I think a lot of this, and particularly with players like Yilmaz and Immobile, it depends on how far their team can go in this tournament. I feel like there's almost a bit of a guarantee with someone like a France or a Germany where you feel that they are going to get to the semi-finals and that's naturally going to contribute to them being in and around that competition. But certainly, I feel that Immobile is the focal point of this side. Yilmaz is the focal point of the Turkey side. I expect him to be up there, absolutely. And I expect him to take set pieces as well. And that's something that you should remember with some of these players. You don't necessarily have to score too many goals from open play as the next player will attest to win a golden boot. And with that being said, Harry Kane, we can't have a golden boot conversation without Harry Kane. 26 goals this season, but again, the, the assist that he contributed for Tottenham, how complete he is as a player. I think him and Benzema for me are up there in terms of the more complete players, whereas Yilmaz and Mobley, they're more, they're more finishers, they're more poachers. And Harry Kane for me, he should be going and being a real competitive figure in the Golden Boot competition. And that's purely because you look at England and the creative ability that they've got in behind them. It's not similar to France because of the way that they're going to play. But if England play a 4-2-3-1 and you've got Foden, Grealish and Mount all behind him, and even if you don't necessarily and you use Rashford and Sterling with the directness that they have, I expect Harry Kane to be pushed as the focal point of this attack. Now, unfortunately, in friendlies, we've seen him drop deep and having to get players to go in beyond. And whilst it suits him for Tottenham, I don't think it suits England and I don't think it suits him. And I think that the chances that England can create for him will put him out in front. 
and the fact that we know he's incredibly good from penalties as well. Less so from corners and the less said about that, the better given Euro 2016 and the memories we have from that. But you can't have a conversation without Harry Kane. Now, Portugal are next for me. And it's not the guy that you'd expect me to pick. I think Cristiano Ronaldo is the go-to pick for a golden boot contender. And listen, he's an unbelievable, I mean, one of the best players of all time. Of course he is. And he turns up for the big games. And that's why so many people appreciate him and so many people love him. But I've gone for this man. And it may shock a few. Diogo Jota, with just 13 goals this season. But you've got to bear in mind the injury record that he's had for Liverpool. But I think that the role that he can play within this Portuguese side, the freedom that he can have off the left, the positions that he picks up could be crucial in international tournaments. And you look at these type of players and the players that they are, all brilliant at finding space. And Diogo Jota has a level of directness, pace, power to get himself into those positions. And you feel that he's not just limited to a wing role. He could be playing as a, as a natural number nine. He could play as a false nine or he could play on either wing. But either way, from whatever position Diogo Jota is in, he will find space to get a shot off on target. And I think the difference for me between him and the rest of the contenders that I've mentioned, and it possibly would be slightly different if Kylian Mbappe was in the conversation, is I feel that he can get goals from sides that set up in a low block where it's difficult for him to find space because he is that type of player. I've seen him do it against West Ham and I've seen him do it against other teams. But he's also very good in the transition. And that's what he's shown at Liverpool when he's been fully fit. And I wonder what that blend of being able to transition effectively on a side and for him to be the focal point and to benefit from space in front of him, but also his ability to find space where it's lacking, is that completeness as a, as a profile of player that you may need. And it is an outside contender, don't get me wrong. I think Portugal have got one of the strongest squads on paper. And I don't even really expect him to be the focal point. But I wouldn't be surprised if he notched up goals. He has done it in the friendlies and he has done it in the qualifiers over someone like Cristiano Ronaldo. He has been struggling a little bit recently in terms of getting international goals. So don't write off Diogo Jota. That's my wild card pick here. But as I said earlier in the video, Karim Benzema, for me, is my contender for the golden boot. I think a lot of it comes down to him as a player. I think he's a phenomenal player, as I've already mentioned. I think his finishing's elite. That's incredibly important. Set pieces. I think he'll have an opportunity to take penalties. I know he missed the one against Wales. And again, it... It, although it's problematic for him in showing that possibly he's not as effective, I don't believe all that. I think that he's what Deschamps is showing is that he will be the main man to take those penalties. And if he is, he can notch up and he can also get goals from open play. But above everything, I think France are the main contenders for this tournament and they'll have the most amount of games for him to try and notch up the amount of goals that he will need to be a golden boot contender. And I'd love to see it. I think he's a phenomenal player and I think he deserves a little bit more credit than he gets. It's kind of been masked with him at Madrid, with Bale and Ronaldo. I expect him to take the mantle. But listen, I'm not writing off any of these players and I would love Harry Kane to go and do it again like he did in the World Cup. I just can't see England getting that far. And that will be something that I will address in another video. But thank you so much for joining me on the West Ham way. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Get in the comment section now. Let me know who will be the Golden Boot winner. Maybe it's someone I haven't mentioned. I'm sure some of you will be plucking for Cristiano Ronaldo. So get it in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And until next time, everybody.